let us discuss this property of gamma function okay so already we have discussed two properties of gamma function so let us discuss one more okay so what it says gamma n plus 1 is equal to n factorial okay this is true if n is natural number or 0 okay so we we'll start with left hand side so i consider gamma n plus 1 right see one property of gamma function we have already discussed in our previous videos that is gamma n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n let us use that property so we have that gamma n gamma n by that property so i am going to apply the same property again for this gamma n then what will we have we will have i am simply copying this n and we will have n minus 1 gamma n minus 1 again i will apply it okay the same property for this gamma n minus 1 then we will get n minus 2 gamma n minus 2 let me write this thing here so n n minus 1 n minus 2 gamma n minus 2 okay let us apply it one more for this gamma n minus 2 then we will have gamma n minus 3 n minus 3 so therefore i can write n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and gamma n minus 3 obviously i am going to apply it for gamma n minus 3 okay so what will happen we will go back 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 and we will stop at some point that is gamma 1 so that means if i do it repeatedly then we will have finally n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 and so on and 3 into 2 into 1 gamma 1 okay we will stop at gamma 1 and we know that value of gamma 1 is 1 in previous video we already proved it so let us put here gamma 1 is equal to 1 so that's why n n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on 3 into 2 into 1 i am writing the reason here since gamma 1 is equal to 1 so this is nothing but factorial n factorial right 1 into 2 into 3 into and so on up to n so this is nothing but n factorial so in this way we proved gamma n plus 1 is equal to n factorial okay make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us discuss one example so gamma 6 we are going to find its value okay so by this result what can we say gamma 6 6 is a natural number so that's why we can write this is nothing but 5 factorial so 5 factorial that means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that means 20 60 120 so its value is 120 so what is value of gamma 6 it is 120 okay let us discuss one more example if i want to find gamma 14 what will be its value it is 13 factorial right so using calculator you can easily find a value of gamma 14 that means 13 factorial so in this way if you have any natural number and if you apply gamma of that natural number then we can easily find its value using this result make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye